How much pressure do you find lands on Andrew Luck with these signings? A lot of pressure. Andrew Luck, you know, it, it, look, he does the best he can, right? But the expectations were so high to start his career that that may not be good enough for a lot of folks. In fact, I'm a little bit off the Andrew Luck bandwagon, and I felt like I was pulling it for a while after his, performance, after his performance in the playoffs this last year. He had a chance, and he played poorly, let's be honest. Um, look, I brought up Bobby Mercer the other day, Stephen A., the Yankees outfielder who was supposed to be the next Mickey Mantle and only wound up a five-time All-Star. And I think about a certain point in his career, he had the best year of his career in 1971, and then he topped that in home runs and RBIs the next year, 1972, what was, a, was a, you know, an, an All-Star both years, and then had another All-Star season in 1973, and yet it was at that moment that people realized, no, he's not what we thought he was, really. Because it wasn't quite as good as the previous two years, and at this point he's 27 years old, and he is what he is, which is an all-star outfielder, but not the next Mickey Mantle. Andrew Luck was supposed to be in the pantheon of the all-time greats, according to, like, every scout who put eyeballs on him in college. And the closer they got to him, the more they thought of him. And I love Luck. I love the way he talks and plays the game, and, and I love the skill set he has and the talent he has and all of that. But how much do you need to start to make real waves? I know, you know he got a bad team to the AFC title game. He won 11 games all those years, but he was supposed to get better, and the team around him got worse. But you know what? Then they drafted a generational offensive lineman, and they gave him a lot of talent. And he really had a bad performance in the playoffs. He, he's at the age now where he has to start showing that he indeed, when, the, when it matters most, belongs mentioned with the elite quarterbacks in the NFL. I think the Colts need to make the playoffs. I think they need to win at least one playoff game. And I think Luck has to play well in it now. I think the pressure is on. The pressure's on, but I'm not going to be as hard on Andrew Luck as you are. He missed an entire season. Uh, he was on suicide watch, as far as I'm concerned, for several years with that offensive line and the absence of protection that they gave him. Last year, they showed up. Obviously, they changed the organization. Pagano is gone. Uh, I, I forgot I, I forgot the uh, GM that was there before Ballard arrived. Uh, he's gone. Uh, Gregson, I believe it was. Uh, the bottom line is, is that you saw the job that they were doing. They, just did, the, they did a poor job of protecting. Andrew Luck, they put his health and career in danger. Not Pagano, per se, uh, but Grigson. But they put his health in danger. He was out for an entire season or so. He came back. What did he do last year? He passed for 4,500 yards. He threw for 39 touchdowns. Oh, by the way, he won a playoff game. Now, he, he, he played poorly against Kansas City. It didn't help that they jumped out to like a 17-0 leader. You talk about Patrick Mahomes and that weather in Kansas City at the time. If it was snowing, if I remember correctly, that might have had something to do with it. So I'm just saying. Saying when you look at the team that they've assembled, Andrew Luck has to perform. I get that. And I'm not completely absolving him. But we got to make sure that everybody that showed up this year shows up next year, too. He got to make sure that he has a team around him. Because Andrew Luck has shown us what he's capable of doing. And he has shown it to us throughout the season. His first year back, he shows up. And balls out last year. I, I mean, I got to give credit where credit is due. I'm not saying he doesn't have to perform. But let's not act like, oh, my goodness, that poor performance in inclement weather against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs should define the season that we saw him have. I don't believe that. I think the other guys got to show up. I have faith Andrew Luck will. Yeah, I'm not going to go off the cliff like Max just did as far as Andrew Luck is concerned. This guy's been dealing with pressure his whole career. Remember, this guy came into the league being hailed as the greatest quarterback prospect since John Elway. And all he went on to do in his first three years after the Peyton Manning era was take the Indianapolis Colts to the playoffs three straight years. So this guy has been adapted at dealing with pressure. And as we've seen his career, you know, the way they built that roster in the Indianapolis, they didn't do Andrew Luck any favors. Well, think about where the Indianapolis Colts were last offseason. You're talking about a team – where Josh McDaniels left him at the altar. They were scrambling, trying to find a coach. They uh, eventually hired Frank Wright, who was the perfect complement to GM Chris Ballard. They rebuilt the offensive line, and all Andrew Luck did was come out and, and was a comeback player of the year and had an awesome season. Now, as far as the playoff game is concerned, their primary weapon, T.Y. Hilton, was, you know, was, was hurting in that game. So, mm -hmm. you know, that offense was limited on the outside. So I would imagine – this season with the draft picks that the Indianapolis Colts have and all the cash space, 
they're, they're going to be one of the trendiest picks in the AFC this yeah, year. They, they, might, but they could potentially quick, be the favorite. Uh, uh, they quick, could Max, potentially be the yeah. favorite. Real, real quick, Max, because of what Damien just said, one thing is surprising with all the Le'Veon Bell to the Jets and what – you know who had the most cap space this offseason? Yep. It was the Colts. the Colts. Yep. So are you saying Justin Houston and Devin Funchess is amping up the pressure on Andrew Luck? Yes, I understand. Well, what about the offensive player that might really help him? And, by the way, guys, don't get it twisted. Damien, don't get it bent. I'm not saying he can't do it. I'm saying I got to see it now. And, 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 by the way, the bloom is off the rose a little bit. He's 29 years old, and for the first time in the last year or two, we've seen players younger than him that we believe have more upside. Forget about upside. Who are better than him right now? Max, when was that the case? Max, Mahomes Max, better do you, than him. I don't know if you remember those rosters that Andrew Luck was taking to the playoffs. That's right. I mean, those, teams were, I was, those that, teams were atrocious. He was yep. literally by himself taking those teams deep into the postseason. Damn he it. gets hurt. Now he comes back with a better roster. I mean, I don't know how you can slight Andrew Luck in this I'm situation. I'm not slighting him. Wait, time out. I just said, don't get it bent. I'm not saying he can't do it, but I got to see it now. In other words, he's got to get there and win a, a question, playoff Max. game now. You said, you said the most touted guy since John Elway. That's why I brought up the late, great Bobby Mercer. If you're the most touted since Elway, it's not enough to make some Pro Bowls and be pretty good. People expect you to be truly great, and the greats do it in the playoffs. Hold he on, was now. Great you got to hold on, hold on, Damien. Hold on, Damien, because you got to yeah. make up your mind. The fact of the matter is this, Max: What the hell you mean? You got to see it. Andrew Luck comes into the league his first three years, wild card game, divisional playoff game, AFC championship game, and then his career gets compromised and sabotaged because of the lack of the protection that he was provided. He goes through two years, essentially, of, of injuries. One year, he doesn't even play. And the first year we see him back, he throws for 39 touchdowns, 4,500 yards, and you got to see it? See what? 